Today we're going to talk about a condition we see a lot in clinic practice, ear mites. Ew, right? But if you're like me, I found it interesting. So of course I had to share it. Ear mites can be found in both dogs and cats, but it's more common in cats. What an ear mite is, is a mild external parasite and it is highly contagious between animals like cat to cat but we have not seen it cross the species borders so humans just don't get it. Some of the symptoms to look out for if you think your cat might have ear mites is going to be itching around the ears and neck, itching around the ears or head, frequent shaking of the head like you'll see them do this a lot, and a thick red brown to black crusty outer ear. The way that ear mites are diagnosed is a swab of the ear, we'll put it on a slide, and they're so small that we have to look at it under a microscope. And I actually have some clips of what that looks like, and I will be adding them on for you guys to see. It's actually really interesting, but once we look at it under the microscope, um, as a tech, we'll say, you know, I see ear mites. The vet will look at it, confirm, and then we will tell the owner, you know, the cat has ear mites, and we will prescribe a treatment. And then it will go away if the cat's treated properly. It's not that big of a deal, but it's something that until I got into the vet industry, I didn't know much about, so I figured it was a good thing to share. Um, the videos at the end aren't, like, nasty or graphic or anything. It's just um, videos through a little through a microscope slide. So feel free to check those out. They'll be coming up next.